This video was brought to you by a better planner, Ken Power, Marcus Biel, Stormberg, and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? We're now in front of the house, V1 house, and behind me here you see a Citroen EC4X. And uh, today I want to see how far can I actually go on a typical Norwegian highway, uh, well, B roads. So we, we'll, I call it a Sunday driving. So I have never tried a Stantis car before. This is the one with the new battery, new drivetrain. So it should go over 400 kilometers. Okay, let's see then. So I've charged the car to 100%. It's been sitting in the garage. So um, yeah, uh, let me show you inside now. What it looks like, voila. Yeah, it's a French automobile. So, um, well, at least GOM here claims 416 kilometer. We need to reset all the strip meter. The plan is to drive from Oslo to Jövik first and then, where can I, can I zoom in here? Yeah, I, I like this route. And then I will take the route over here and then, where can we see all that stuff? Over here, maybe go over Gulsfjellet, Ødal Gulsfjellet. And then Gul, and then take this route back home. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll go this route or maybe go we are here which is safer charging wise because here there's no chargers pretty much so we'll see but okay time is 11 we have live stream running let's reset and then off we go and also yeah i turn off hvac right now because it's cold enough but eventually i might have to fire it up We've been driving for two hours. We just passed Jovik a little while ago. So yeah, now we're going to head towards uh, Gul. See, we'll take this route here, actually go over a mountain, Gulsfjellet. Uh, so, so far the consumption is a bit higher than I expected. You know, I was expecting around 120 watt hour per kilometer. Oh shit, can you read that shit? There maybe, yeah. Uh, but we have a uh, headwind and also some uphill so uh, we don't see the true consumption yet yeah um so hopefully i can finish the whole loop without running out of juice <laughs> okay we'll see about that but okay so yeah so far so good um yeah it's a nice day today but you see i've been running no fans because remember that no fans is better than only fans but it is a bit cold outside look it's 12 degrees celsius outside you know winter is coming we are in in the mid of september now so even though I'm relying on getting some passive heat from the sun, uh, it's still a bit cold and I even brought my Schwartz, you see? So I'm, uh, I'm semi-freezing in here. <laughs> but okay, I just hold it, uh, hold it because eventually the car should heat up enough. So if I fire up the heat an hour or keep the car in the heat for some reason, too long, I mean in the sun for too long, then suddenly it will be too hot and then I have to run uh, the HVAC. So I just want to go as ninja equal as possible so yeah we'll see We are now in Urdal and I've been driving for uh, around three hours. I feel like taking a first break now, you see? So far, this is the consumption and we are even in the highlands. So yeah, uh, the state of charge scale is not 100% linear, but um, I see that we haven't spent 50% of the energy yet. So uh, it seems like we can go over 400 kilometers, maybe 450 even, yeah. So far, so good. And HVAC is still off, but I want to heat up the car a bit. Over here, it's 16 degrees Celsius. It has been so cold here. And I know that over the mountain here is going to be cold. So yeah, let's show, show you guys outside. Oh. 
So I have some options here, you see? We have Bakeria in Valdres. We have Thai food. What? Too many options, man. Do I go for Thai food? Oh, man. I can even sit and eat outside in the sun here and chill. Or do I go for the bakery? Okay, we'll see, we'll see. Let me bring the rest of the camera equipment and the live stream. As I don't want the live stream to be sitting inside here, but I want the car to try to heat up a bit while I'm stationary. Well, we're now sitting right next to the highway, the main road. Yeah, this one. So um, I decided to sit outside, even though it might not be the warmest day. But uh, I went for Pat Kapau. Yeah, if you ever watch the Thai videos in Thailand, you will see that Pat Kapau in Thailand is completely different. This is the Norwegian version of it, I guess, <laughs> with some white rice. And then I have my stone bag bottle with some drinks in here. And then the live stream is there. And then the car is just sitting here uh, doing nothing right now. That's the part of the challenge. Well, the test rather. So let's try now. How good is this? So I requested to not have it too spicy. I wonder if they follow the request. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's for long. <coughs> for long, friend. Okay, we're back on the road now, and uh, we are now on the dirt road. Oh shit, there's some uh, Baustelle and some closed roads. We're gonna take a detour. But look here, even in the highlands, we have 126 watt hour per kilometer. Ooh, wonderful, man. Hmm, my guess is that it might be as low as 120 watt hour per kilometer. So, yeah, uh, next checkpoint will be uh, Gul. We'll drive with Gulsfjellen now. So, oh man, okay, yeah, still, this is a bumpy road. But the suspension is nice and soft. Oh yeah, Citroen suspension for the win. We are now on top of uh, the mountain, Gulsfjelle. And you see, right now we have 874 meter with sea level elevation. Now look at this. This is a very convenient uh, phone holder. Yeah. And then even at this high elevation, we have only 133 watt hour per kilometer. And this car also underreports reports distance by 1%, so we're going to correct for that. But over here is 11 degrees Celsius. It's getting cold in the car. Oof. So I will just stop here and then do my, um, my thumbnail somewhere like this. Okay, yeah. Oh, shit, it's cold. <laughs> it's cold and windy. Yeah, you see, open landscape. Oh, shit. Okay, let's get inside the car and then finish this. I have a house and family to get back to now. Oh, oh yeah. 44% now. We are getting close to Hörnefoss and we are now down to 22% but look at the consumption 115 watt hour per kilometer wow this car is quite efficient man wow I have to say <laughs> impressive uh, but then okay um see this is the thing about this car it will estimate that I will run out of juice there but it's not gonna happen I calculate that I will run out of juice way closer to Oslo but I will take that route because if I take Sully Hugda route that one is risky because there's there are no fast chargers nearby and it's it's a quite high hill I have to pass so I will stay in the lowlands and stay in this path with um, with uh, fast chargers so yeah I have to drive a little bit longer distance but um, okay we will see it seems like we should be able to go more than 400 kilometers the VLTP was 416 or 18 I don't remember so let's see if we can at least beat VLTP then
Wow, look at this. We are now in the average speed zone. And this car has a feature where you can show, it shows you how many kilometers you have. Wait, is that left or? Yeah. And you see that average speed, if you slow down a little bit now, you will see that the average speed drops. 76, 75. And then if I speed up, okay, let's go faster. Schnell, 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 schnell. Then it should go up. Wow. Very impressive, man. Huh? This should be standard in every modern EV nowadays. Oh, uh, I'm just cruising now on the highway, doing 75 in the 80 zone, and there's an E zone in front there. So remember that in Norway, there's always someone slower than you. Just like in Germany, there's always someone faster than you. <laughs> okay, but uh, this is a bit uh, strange because I navigated to Hockadal, I'm gonna bail out there. It's in 10 kilometers, um, but the car keeps bugging me that I don't have enough juice. I'm gonna run out of juice before I get there, but I have 22 kilometers of range according to GOM. So uh, what's the deal here really? Uh, do we have enough juice or do we, do we not have enough juice? <laughs> oh, we went past that uh, charging point. We now have 4% left. The car stopped showing display range left. Oh shit. Okay, and we have a tunnel with uphill coming up soon. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, real man go deep. Yeah. <laughs> We're going up the hill. 4%, 3%. Ah! We're going deep. Oh, shit. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Up the hill. Lero Jenkins. 3%. Oh shit, I'm losing speed! I'm power limit! I can't maintain 70 kilometers per hour! Ah, why is my... Why is so high pitch? I, I don't know! Oh shit! Ah, get over there! Okay, I've decided to YOLO it. We are... Uh, uh, what is this? Wait, 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 uh, seven, seven kilometers away from home now. And we still have 3% left. The car has a power limit, but uh, the problem... And the, the, Fortunately, we have to drive slow here anyway. It's only 60 stones, so... <laughs> Shit, we gotta YOLO it, man. <laughs> okay, let's go for it. Straight home. Uh-oh, we are now at Kalbaken, and turtle mode has occurred. <laughs> or tortoise mode, yeah. Only boats get turtle mode. So 3% and turtle mode. No, it's a tortoise mode. Oh. Fortunately, I only have downhills pretty much all the way now to Alna, Bru Alna Center. So this is a great advantage. Once you clear the hill, you can then go back to the starting point and get good numbers. We are done, D-O-N. I don't dare to go too deep. I mean, I've already done zero mile test, but okay, there's end stats. Wow, this car went quite far and the consumption was also good. Remember that we have 1% lower consumption than this because of, oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, I do a little bit different ending today, but okay, if you see the table, uh, this car actually went pretty far, way longer than I expected. And also we got over 52 kilowatt hour this time. It was more than when I did the range test. And this is also due to the battery chemistry, whatever that you have, when you have higher power output, you have also more losses. So, but you can see that this EC4X beat Fat e-tron. It even beat Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. <laughs> Wow, simply amazing. Wait, okay, I mean, it's a magnificent. Yeah, okay, so there you guys have it. The new Stellantis cars, they can actually go pretty far. And as I show you in the, in the test today, on the video, this is actually a highly relevant test if you're driving in Norway. I'm not bullshitting, okay? And okay, um, I turn off HVAC, yeah, but you know, it, today was even not the best condition. We had around 12 to 15 degrees Celsius some places. Uh, if you drove in 20, 22 degrees Celsius, we would probably have HVAC on. And then uh, the consumption might be the same because then you use a little bit on HVAC, but then you have lower friction or, air, uh, uh, or lower drag. So yeah, that's it, man. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.